Hey guys, so in this tutorial we're going to go over how to make a mold using the contour technique in Grasshopper. So first you need to select your surface, make sure it's closed. So I wrote this script to only work with uh, primarily closed poly surfaces. And then from there we're going to load in contour mold maker with contour. Um, so over on your left hand of the Grasshopper definition, you're going to right click on B rep, set one B rep, and you're going to collect your singular uh, poly surface. So as you can see, um, there's a kind of a bounding box around it already, and it's a mold. So basically a Boolean uh, difference is everything that you need, and then also allows for a pouring hole that you can pour resin or plaster or whatever molding material, and you're also able to adjust that. Multiple holes might be needed for draft or uh, whatever else. So, and then um, basically after this, you're able to adjust the length, and then you're also able to adjust the mold size. So if the mold seems a little bit too small, you can bring it back down to wherever you want. So be careful not to go under it, because obviously you'll leak material. So from here, I have two different types of molds. One with the notches that help with a guide. Uh, and this is really good for having two molds that fit together perfectly. And then also I have uh, one that's able just to split right down the middle, and it might be better for fabrication. But you really need to fit them up nicely. Um, so from here, uh, we can go back to the one with the notches that help guide everything. But this is difficult with contouring or even waffling because... Sometimes the contours are not going to line up, so the guides aren't going to line up. So that's a tricky one, but it'll still work. So from here, I made a contouring definition. And so I have these arrows pointing, so you either need to pick one with guides or one without. So there's side one, and it'll meet up with side one. And basically, you just plug them in. Um, for this tutorial, we're going to use the notches in here. And basically, as you can see... Uh, we have a contour. So basically this is going to give you the contours for these molds and you don't have to do them in Rhino. So from here um, we're able to kind of count out how many different layers we have and so we have 87 and 89 and we labeled them on our Rhino model. So with this definition um, there might be a few different little errors that happen, but we'll go over those uh, once we start baking out stuff. So if we want to see what the Rhino geometry is, um, we can start baking. So you select your object and then hit spacebar. And as you can see, we're missing a couple slices, and that's just due to Grasshopper not being perfectly accurate. But uh, as you can see, we made a mold um, with the shape that we wanted on the inside. So if we bake the other side and just see if we have any errors in there. Um, let's see. Looks like we have one. Um, in which those cases we're going to have to get out the contour curves and basically just extrude up on our own, which is completely easy. So if we want to extrude up on our own, we'll hit the contours, bake them. And basically we end up with a bunch of curves. And so from here... Basically, we can just select our curves, and our material thickness is quarter inch. So if we just extrude up curve, we're able to just go to quarter inch. And basically, from here, we can kind of correct those errors as well, So if it doesn't work. So as you can see here, we have a perfect mold that's digitally fabricated, and we can replicate our shape. 